hey, we're talking theater with Yvette Randolph. She's directing a play at 30 by 90 Theater in Mandeville. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me, <laughs> Yvette, what are we directing? I am directing The Foreigner. By yes. Larry Shu. Yes, it is. Uh, New Orleans born. Really? But yes. Didn't know. See, I've taught you something today. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the show. Um, you know, it's a comedy. It's going to be really great. Uh, it starts out with um, two of our characters, uh, Charlie and Froggy, who are Englishmen. Mm -hmm. And they show up at a um, fishing lodge in the middle of rural Georgia. Mm -hmm. And um, the whole premise of the play is that uh, Charlie's a little heartbroken about his adulterous wife mm -hmm. and uh, he thinks that she's dying and uh, uh, just wants to go somewhere and just hide and not talk to anybody uh, and so his friend Froggy comes up with this concept that uh, he doesn't understand English or speaks English so that he doesn't have to talk to any of the other guests mm -hmm. at this uh, at this uh, lodge um, so it's sort of the whole concept um, and he interacts with these other guests and uh, these guests thinking that Charlie mm -hmm. doesn't understand them just gives out all their secrets and scandals going on mm -hmm. and uh, we get to watch how Charlie reacts to those. Have you <laughs> cast it yet? <laughs> oh, it's cast. We've been in rehearsals. Uh, we open up in uh, two weeks. When do you open and, up? What's the date? Uh, February 17th is okay. our first day. And you so. run through? Uh, March, March 4th. March 4th. Three weekends. Yeah, three consecutive Friday, weekends. Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, on the first two weekends, it's Saturday and Sunday, uh, 8 o'clock. No o Friday? The last weekend we have a Friday. That's unusual. So, well, we just found on the last weekend is when we kind of build speed, and by the last weekend we have to turn them away oh. at the door. So, Surprise, you don't yeah. have a Friday open. Yeah. Yep, on, uh, no, we do it on a Saturday. And that's something. Yeah. All so, right, 8 o'clock shows at night? Um, 8 o'clock on the two Saturdays and the Friday, and then 2.30 on Sunday. So, Tickets are? Uh, well, they are 19. I think it's 17 for students, and it kind of goes down from there. So. Okay. Um, but Phone number? Yes. Uh, you're going to make me memorize? Yeah, four eight, four there you go. 843. three zero nine zero. 3090 Yes. Okay. <laughs> and you can also go to our website, which, which is? is 30 by 90 and it's 30 by 90 to get tickets. Okay. Um, so lots going on. Yes, we have cast that we have an amazing cast. Tell me the cast. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. So um, we start with Charlie Baker, who is Latson Poole. Um, he's great. He's amazing. Great, um, great. great physical actor, which great. is what we needed for Charlie great. because most of this is his reactions to things in his face and his him body. In many things. Right. So, um, so amazing. And he kind of makes it a Carol Barnett show every night. The other actors don't know what he's going to do sometimes. Really? And so that makes it fun, you know, for, for, for him. I don't know about for them. Yeah. It's <laughs> live stage. you got to be ready to improvise. So, um, his partner in crime is uh, Froggy, uh, and that is played by Tom Hassinger. Okay. And uh, let's see, we've got Betty Meeks, who is the owner of the lodge, and that is played by Am Amy Dixon Riddell. Uh, and we have three people that are, well, two people that are staying at the lodge and then one bad guy. The two people at their lodge are Catherine Sims, and that's played by Don Mastaskus Cuso. Hey, Mastas Cuso. She has a hard name. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then her dim-witted brother, Ellard, who is played by Nino Bonero Jr., and Reverend David Marshall Lee, who is Jeff Hogg. And then we have our bad guy right out the gate, who is Owen Messer, played by Jason Leader, which is our marketing oh, yeah, director okay. by 30 by 90. He comes out every once in a while and put, you know, and tries out for something and and at the end of the show he goes, "Why do they do that? I'm never going to do it again." So he's one of those. And then he comes out and he does an amazing job and we're like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> so, who picks the shows? Um, our three uh, the three founders of the the theater, Tom Bubring, uh, Ed Adolfo Rodriguez and Jason Lear. Okay. Yeah. And is this the first time you've directed there? It is the first time I've directed anywhere. No. <laughs> How'd you get this job? Begged for it? No. Uh, actually, I did. Um, I was. I played um, in a play for them last year, the Red Velvet Cake War. Okay. And I was in that. And um, after that show, uh, Jason was like, "Well, ever thought about directing? Would you like to do something for next year?" And I said, "Sure. I'm glad to try it out." So 
Um, now I'm more of a dramatic actress, uh, so they gave me really, a comedy. I can tell. Yeah, <laughs> they gave You're me more a, of a dramatic they actress. They gave me a no. com comedy. I was say comedic. So um, you can't well, be more of a dramatic. Well, what's actor. very funny is the Red Velvet was the first time I'd done a comedy, and I loved it. It was so much fun. You're not a dramatic. But actress. I have to work at it. You're not a dramatic. I, I have to work at it. Like there are people in this play that I just I just want to choke them because it's so natural to you either them. Either have it or you don't. So, well, you okay, either that's have true. It or you don't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, but I think you can work at something. But yeah, you do have to have a natural timing. So, um, and um, I think I may Where have a little bit of located? that. Where are you located? We are in Mandeville. So. Okay, great. Where? I know, I know. I, I, all I, I, I don't know the exact address, but we're right behind where um, Liz's where you're at cafe. So the little, little what? plug for Liz's where you're at. We're right behind that cafe. So. You know which street you're on? Nope. <laughs> are you in old Mandeville? I'm not the marketing director. I'm just an actor. <laughs> okay. And you're a dramatic actress, right? This is a comedy. We don't, come to the show. We don't know where it's at. Where you at, Dolan? I don't know. I don't know. Go on our website, 30 by 90, and it'll give okay, you the address okay. to the theater. So, so what else can you tell us? So What's coming up after this one? Oh, my gosh. We have The Rabbit Hole. Which has is, that been cast already? Yes, it has. Um, you know who the cast is? I don't. Their, their director would have to tell you. So. Okay. Um, but um, uh, that's a drama. It's going to be very well. It, it just uh, a movie which just it just came out about it um, of the same name, same um, uh, plot, and everything. So, okay. and then we have Nonsense. Yeah. Our ending one, Goggin. which is going to be so much fun. Do you and that sing? One has been, that one has been cast too, and I don't know who's in it yet. We don't. I don't get any of that information until they put it out on Facebook. So, um, do I sing uh, in the chorus? Maybe. <laughs> so, what about? <clears throat> have you done a lot of theater? I um, back in college, I did a lot of theater then, and just recently got back into theater with the Thirty by Ninety. My first one uh, with them was the Jeweler Shop, which was a pretty serious, uh, pretty serious play, and it was. Uh, Written by Pope John Paul, so really, which was yeah, I I'm like had no that idea. That must have been a drama. I had no idea it was a playwright, and it was about relationships, like marriages and stuff. And was it, it was like, well, Italian? that was interesting. <laughs> I think the original might have been so, but he was going to be an actor. Really, until he veered off and became Pope. The Pope. <laughs> wow. So there's hope. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Anyway, exactly. so what else is happening at so, 30 by 90? Well, we have um, the One Acts, which are coming up, and I think it's March 17th. Yeah, March 17th and 18th, which is really cool. Every year we do a One Act playwriting contest. We open it up, um, and we get them from all over the world. Uh, mm -hmm. This year we had 40 entrants, five were picked, and one of those is from Nova Scotia. And so, and what happens now? You read them all, or you act yes, them they, out? Yes, they, they, they. Um, we have a committee that picks them. We, t we pick the top five. Um, they have been cast. I've been cast in one of them. Mm -hmm. So come see. And um, and you will act it out, or be read. It will theater? be acted out. And basically, we'll uh, open the stage up. Uh, we'll have minimal props, minimal stage mm -hmm. dressing, and we'll just go from one act to the next. So reset the stage, and then start the next one act. In um, one night. In one night, we do it on one weekend. Uh, on March 17th, which is Saturday, we do it at 8 o'clock, and then on the 18th, on Sunday, we do it at 2.30. So, so how long is it all, one act, look at three hours? Um, well, there's five of them, so yeah, it'll probably be a couple hours that we, yeah. At least, mm -hmm. at least. Yeah, so they're pretty short and plays. Who picks, who, does anybody pick the best one or no? The audience does. Oh, that's nice. So the audience What if one show pick? has a bunch of bad actors in it? <laughs> I mean, that's we not fair. We have no bad actors yeah, at 30 right. by 90. Please. Wait a minute. <laughs> what happens if my show gets, like, the bottom of the barrel for the actors? Well, I can tell you from my heart that all of these people are amazing. So you're going to enjoy every single yeah, one the, of them. The cast, you're in, look. the cast you're in are probably more amazing. I wouldn't say that. Yes, you would. No, because no, no. <laughs> yes, you would. No, you know what? There, it was. Uh, um, I do know who some of the other people that were cast for, but the, it's it's going to be an amazing day. And um, I know last year it was really hard to pick the best one because they were all done so well. But so, tell us about the theater. How many does it seat? Ninety-nine. Not a hundred. Ninety-nine. Not a hundred. Nope. Not That's why nine. It's Thirty by ninety. <laughs> you know what? It's it's very. It's a small theater, but I love that fact because. It puts the audience right in the action. I mean, you're close to the stage. Mm -hmm. So I think the front row is probably three feet from the stage. 
So as the actor on the stage, it's a little disconcerting because <laughs> they're, they're, hi, that's the top of your head right by my foot. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> well, hey, you know, what can I say? So, but you know How high what? up is the stage? Uh, it's about three feet off the, okay. yeah. So, and we have stadium seating, so there's not a bad seat in the house. Uh, and if we run out, we stick some people in the booth too. So, and most How of much our shows, are tickets? Most of the shows are pretty popular. So, tickets. Um, tickets are nineteen dollars for seniors, uh, seventeen for military, and fourteen for students. Okay. So it's a good parking. I'm not saying it isn't. Right. Okay. We got a minute left. What else can you tell us? <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you That's about it, the Mr. Vet. I know. I, I don't have much right, else let's to recap. say, so you should say. Let's recap. <laughs> What's happening on February 17th? What's the show? The Foreigner is opening up at the 30 by 90 Theater, 8 o'clock um, uh, showing, and uh, it's going to be hilarious. It really is. Like I said, these people have been working so hard, well, and they're hers. all very good comedic actors. So what do um, um, We try to get in six weeks before the – sometimes it gets squished to five – Mardi Gras kind of threw us for a loop, yeah, you know, okay. so we've kind of uh, lost a few days. And the snow, the snow did the middle of our rehearsal exactly. schedule. <laughs> chance to stay home and learn their lines. Yes, exactly, so which I'm sure they appreciated. <laughs> February 17th, so it's going to go Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday and, and Sunday. And Sunday, okay. Yes, exactly. Two, so. uh, 8 o'clock on Friday and Saturdays and 2.30 on Sundays. Yes, exactly. $14 for students. Yep. Senior citizens are how much? Uh, seniors are 19 and military is 17. And what about regular? Oh, we don't want any regular people in there. So wait, <laughs> wait, wait, if I'm not military and I'm not a senior and I'm not a child, you don't want me. What do I pay? I don't know. No, no, no. What you do have, I pay? You can stand outside and just listen. I don't <laughs> pay any? I get in for free? Yeah, you get in for free. No, don't even say that. Jason, I didn't say that. Uh, <laughs> $20. 20 bucks. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Take You're care. Welcome. That's it. That's right. Look, if you want to be on this show, call Shannon, call Jason, 898-5243. We're here to publicize events in the parish, so we want you to have a seat here and talk to me.